So let's get to the drama on Capitol Hill. There was lots yesterday. Uh, a shouting match broke out during a House Oversight Committee hearing yesterday when Chairman James Comer and Ranking Member Jamie Raskin got into an argument about the Republican-led effort to impeach President Biden. Take a look. What business was the Bi what business were the Bidens in? Well, what business did Joe Biden's family own? What business were they in? Did they have hotels? Did they have a social media company? Did they have golf courses? Did they have casinos? Did they have office Mr. buildings? Mr. Chairman. What business? Did they well, have an energy Mr. Company? Chairman, we have spent tens of millions of dollars, you, pursuing we have, Joe Biden, not and you have not true. identified a, a single lie. crime. You are really? lying. That really? That is a lie. We have not spent $10 million. Hey, how much have you spent? We have... We haven't spent hardly anything. Oh, it's been for free. Okay. All right. Well, in any event, it, well, hey, you know what? Then we get what we is, paid for it because you got nothing. That you is, got nothing no, on Joe well, Biden. No, no, no. Answer you, this question. Not named answer single this crime. question. No, you what did the Bidens do? What business were they in? Why well, did they get can I, can I millions that? and millions of dollars? Well, no, I, I would like can to I ask you a question. No, you start. What okay. did the Bidens do? The, 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 I don't know what you're business were they about. in. We'll let the record show that Mr. Raskins could not answer the question. I, what first did of all, the Bidens let, do let, to let, receive let, the money? Let, let me start with this. Uh, My last name is Raskin, okay? We've sat next to each other for more than a year. You don't have to add the S. Number two, I would like my time restored. And number three, no, you, have, you have not identified a single order. crime. No. Well, what is the crime that you want to impeach Joe Biden for and keep this nonsense going? Well, Why? When, well, well, what is the crime? Tell America right now. You well, you're you're about crime. to find out. What very is the soon. crime? You're about to find out. Name it. Charity well, we inhabit a Mr. propaganda from experiment. Arizona. Thank, thank you. You know, it gets so bad. It gets so bad. I'm mean, Comer when he couldn't answer the question. Name the crime. Name the. You can't ask him. It it, 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 it it got so bad, and if we turned the mic up, you would have heard Arnold the pig, who was, who was Comer's oh, no. uh, you know, legal counsel. I should have known. Said, said, screw you guys, I'm going home. And he just <laughs> left. It was so embarrassing. Uh, really? What a I mean, waste first of, of all, time. it's such a stupid question. What do the Bidens do? What do the Bidens do? What do the Bidens do? Like, you know, listen. The They're about talking about, what are they courses. talking about? A couple million dollars here, right? They've never talked about the two billion dollars that Jared got from the Saudis. Mm. Never. I mean, never talked about that before. He's never been in in an investment before. He got two billion from the Saudis. And listen, it's not illegal. Okay, so it's not illegal. He did it, and and that's fine. What what Hunter Biden did, we've seen, uh, is is not illegal. Uh, th th they can't find the crime. And his whole, you're going to learn in the future, That's old. Is, is crazy. But again, the fact that they keep drumming this up, they keep making fools of themselves, even Fox News and other uh, uh, right-wing pro-Trump outlets are saying, stop, you're making a fool of yourself, doesn't stop him from doing it. And again, $2 trillion for the Trump family, Three million dollars divided, like I don't know how many ways that that Biden didn't even get like the three million versus two two billion. I mean, it's it's crazy that they're still dragging this out, and Comer's still okay with making a fool of himself because he can't name a single crime. It's just like Mayorkas, no crime, high crime, no misdemeanor, no impeachment. It was all just political garbage. And that's the same thing here, political garbage, because they got nothing. And, and every time they try to confront Hunter Biden, he makes a fool of them. Yeah, and Comer and his committee are in so deep now, it's like they can't humiliate themselves by conceding that they have nothing, which is the case. And in fact, he's been saying for months and months and months, no fire yet but an awful lot of smoke, which is a different version of what he just said yesterday, which is you're going to find out soon what they did. And Chris Matthews, there's this conflation by using the term the Bidens or the Biden crime yes. family, as they call it, to bring in the president of the United States for whatever Hunter Biden may have done. Uh, remember, star witnesses in this, we can remind our viewers, have all to a man been uh, exposed as frauds. This $5 million bribe that we heard so much about turned out the guy admitted he was lying about that. One of their other star witnesses previously is now a fugitive on the run. You can go down the list. There's nothing here. 
and James Comer admits as much. You know, this is all tied in with culture and, and lying. You know, if you, I, I went out to Western Pennsylvania this week. I went out to Fulton County, the most Republican <coughs> county in the state. It's 85 percent Republican in the last couple of elections. Uh, and, and in Adams County, which is pretty much as close as that. The, the downtowns are open. There's nobody on the streets anymore because they're all, they're all at Walmart or somewhere, Costco or somewhere, one of the dollar stores. The, the downtown idea of having a, 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 a gift shop, for example, there's always a gift shop somewhere. Well, there aren't any more. That's all closed. Nobody's on the streets anymore. And the ones that are are fi filled with hostility right now about the, the Democratic Party and Biden. Uh, there's a story I went to in, uh, in Fulton County, which is politically incorrect. And all it is, a little store packed with anti-Biden stuff. All it is, all the stuff about brand and all the old cliches and nonsense from the right. And the reason is there's no newspapers for sale. There's no way to check your facts. If you hear something on Fox or hear it through the grapevine from the Trump crowd, how are you going to check it? How do you when this guy says the Bidens? Well, who's he talking about? Well, it sounds like he's talking about the president. Well, he isn't. He isn't talking about the president, but he wants you to think it sounds like the president. And so he says the, over and over again, like an idiot, he kept saying the Bidens, the Bidens, because he didn't have any more background. He didn't have any more information. He just had the, those phrases. Jamie is one of the smartest guys ever in Congress, and he's taken him on. And the guy fall, fell back on the fact he didn't have anything on Joe Biden. After all these months, all the millions of dollars spent, nothing on Joe Biden. He must be the cleanest politician in history. I've never seen a guy that's been, uh, you know, frisked for the, like these guys have been frisking Biden. <laughs> they don't have anything on the guy. They've checked his pockets. They've gone everywhere. They haven't got anything. And, and this guy is talking about the Bidens. That's, uh, Willie, you're right. It's just a simple use of dishonest language. That's all it is, dishonest language. There aren't the Bidens. Hunter has his problems. And we know he's facing the courts over it, like his father's directing the courts. That's another one. Oh, what a the right. Biden is directing all the prosecution like of his son. Hey, give me a break. He's not yeah, doing it's this. One lie after another lie after another lie after another lie. And when you and have, no newspapers, no newspapers to check uh, with. Uh, you can't check and, it anywhere. And, and, That's such a great and, point. And, and by the way, uh, so many people don't want to check. Uh, they 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 they, no, they could go on the Google machine at home, and they could yeah. they could know the truth in five minutes on any of these lies that they spread. But I found and I found personally with my own friends, they you know give them the lie that makes them comfortable. They'll take that over the truth any day of the week. Chris Matthews, thanks Thank so you, Chris. much for being Good with us. Good to see you. Thank you. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.